Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are doing the free to play series. Uh, I said it a few times free to play is easy, uh, and this is why. Oh, what we got? Drake! <laughs> Drake! <laughs> what the hell? Free to play! Just got a Draco. Damn! Fane and Draco, what the hell? So, I was on Twitch last night. Um, I made like an impulse decision just to pull my Ancients. I had like 24 Ancients and I was going to save them for the Halloween Fusion. But a few of the guys on Twitch were just like, 24 is not going to get you the Halloween Fusion or the Fragment, whatever. So why don't you just pull them on the two times? And I was thinking, you know what? For an account that's as young as mine, a two times is actually better than a, a fusion, potentially, potentially. Anyway, turns out it was better, and I got myself a Draco. Uh, so I've now got Vizier and I've got Draco together. I've been farming like crazy today, burning through a lot of my, um, any gems I had, any kind of stored energy and stuff like that, which I've been using. Um, and we are ready. Uh, I got a chicken as well from the um, event, which has just happened. I will admit, uh, I got a chicken from this champion chase. So I got myself up to a chicken with the shard pools and with a load of my mystery shards. Just got over the limit. 2,500 is what I needed. So uh, I've only got 12 left. Yeah, so I got myself into a position that I could upgrade Draco really fast. So we've got level 50 going on. I got myself a bit of food, which I'm going to use. Now I'm doing something which I don't really advise people to do. But I'm sure tons of people do it. Like, if I'm in a rush to get someone to a 60, I look at my epics and I'm like, who, who are the casualties likely to be? Uh, and a lot of people would advise against this. But if you're free to play, getting this kind of high level food is hard to do. So I've now got Draco as a six star. Yes. Uh, what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to brew him up, waste my silver, which I shouldn't do again on my free to play. I'm going to brew him up. Um, I've already been farming some of his masteries for leveling him to 50. So we've got a few masteries built up already. Um, and then over this week, I'm going to continue to farm his masteries up to get him to tier 6. That's like my next thing to do. But in this video, I'm going to level him, throw him into my dungeon teams, and let's see what he can do for me in my dungeon runs. Let's do it. Draco on the free to play. Okay, so I'm going to show you the Draco build in a minute. Just one other thing I'm doing on the free-to-play now is I'm starting to get myself ready for a Razin ah. Starhide. I pulled a Lich yesterday as well in the Shard Pool, which is huge. I got four of the other rares so far. Two more rares are farmable, this one here and this one here. So in, this, in essence, I've got six, which means there's six left to get. Um, and Razin will be massive for this account as well. So Vizier, Draco, Razin... Plus High Cartoon um, and, you know, one other Nuka. And this account is absolutely stacked, ready to do what it needs to do. So let me show you the build I've done on Draco then. I've got Draco up to level 55 using some brews. Um, we have gone for high speed. I want to land the decrease defense and weaken before my Nukas go. So I've got 208 speed. Um, okay amount of HP, not tons. Quite a lot of defense, 2.7k. And 158 accuracy. That's the only numbers I've, I care about in my builds right now. I don't have the gear. I don't have the amulets. I don't have the banners and stuff to, to turn him like turbo his damage. So it's more about making him go first. Land debuffs before the rest of my team can go. So let me show you what sort of difference this is going to make. Uh, my fastest time here is 1.32. Let's see what I can do with this team. So I'm thinking to go... I cartoon. Oh no, we go apothecary. Apothecary speed lead. I think we're gonna try this. Double double damage dealers, speed increase, decrease defense and weaken, and then he's kind of just in there. Maybe I don't know if he's good for this or not really. Yeah, I think so. I think he can just spread some more debuffs and do a bit more damage for me. Perhaps man eaters better. I'm not sure. So there we go. Make sure Draco's faster than everyone else. Get the nukes out from Kale. Kale says, see you later. And then we're already on to wave two. 
obviously we've got to wait for cool downs i don't have books i'm not able to book my um my draco which i would love to do i've got epic books actually spare so i've only had high cartoon really that i've wanted to book in epics um i don't have rare books spare and i don't have legendaries i use my legendaries on vizier well actually frank used my legendaries on vizier and yeah I, I haven't been able to replace those so i'm on to the boss super quick we should get hopefully the decrease defense and weaken here yep and then we've got nukes coming in now lots of damage way more damage than i was able to do before because of the debuffs and then hopefully this is going to be a pretty clean run around a, a minute a bit more So there we go. We've knocked 30 seconds off of my best time on Arcane Keep. Awesome. Let's see what we can do on Dragon. Dragon's his next best dungeon. So I'm hoping some big things will happen for us on Dragon. He is the wrong affinity here as well as the rest of my team. So that could be troublesome. Okay, then let's see if we could get some, somewhere further on Dragon. 17 is the best I've done so far. I don't even have 17 on auto. So I'm going to try 18. If I can't do 18, I'm going to see if this... This team can speed up my auto run. Trouble with 18 is it's the worst affinity for everything I've got here. All right, four of this team are the wrong affinity for 18. We're doing a fair chunk of damage though. I think I need to stop him from uh, locking everyone out. Let's try and kill him first. Try and get decreased attack everywhere. That's good. Load the poisons on here. Load the damage on as well. Don't need to heal yet. Just hoping, really, we're just hoping for as few weak hits as we can get, but that's not always possible. So, can we kill her off? No. There's no point healing because we've got so much decreased heal reduction on us. I think I'll just take her out. There's a lot of debuffs on us. I'm saving the decreased defense for, for next wave. Uh, let's get a heal off on Draco. I could double hit here, but I actually... I don't know if I need to. I'm going to save it for the next wave. Let's make sure she dies. Two, two enemies now, which is fine. We've got life still on most of these guys. Just kind of get my abilities back. That's fine. So we're just A1s here. A1s, get our abilities back. This is the hardest level we're going to face. Um, I think I think even 20 will be pretty similar to this. So again, decrease defense and weaken out early. That's what Draco does. That's his signature move. That's why he's so strong for an account of my level. And then we get the nukes down. So we've done a ton of damage already. I'm going to try and steal turn meter maybe from one of these. I could do it from a shatter bones, but to be honest, I might as well do it from this guy because shatter bones are going to get their moves off anyway. I just want to kill them. So I think I'm going to go block debuffs here so that I don't get the decreased speeds on me. He should be dead. That's good. I'm going to try and kill this oath bound now. So we're not getting the decreased speeds on us because of uh, Maneater's abilities there. Get some poisons out on Oathbound. Try and get some hits on him. It's good. Good damage. See if this will kill him off. Poison should kill him, hopefully. Yeah. So I think we're going to get through to the dragon. I don't even know if I've been through to the dragon in this free-to-play yet. So get all. I'm using all my big abilities now. Keep Draco alive. At that hit that was actually a big old hit from shatterbones there only shatterbones to go so we should get some healing when we get through okay so we've got two people now that can do poisoning i've got decreased defense and weaken here got resisted which is annoying keep us moving quick this is definitely not over yet i should have done decreased attack that was silly Get the poisons on. Nice four stack poison. That is good. I'm going to try A1 here. I want to get more poison going. Ideally. 
We know that we've got enough poison here to get rid of this purple bar already, so I'm actually in good shape for this for this next kind of big intake. Get some damage off. And this should be another stage of dragon in the bag now. So we get a bunch of debuffs on us. I've got life still on everyone apart from my Draco, so all I need to do is make sure that I've done a decreased attack there. I just want to make sure that I use my Apothecary's heal on my Draco. Like this. Keep the poisons ticking in wherever I can. I'm going to get block debuffs up. I think we've got a debuff round coming now. Let's go decrease defense and weaken again. And this should be game over. Game over, Dragon. Do want some of these poisons to land. I want some of these to land. Got three of them, that's good. Everyone's staying pretty healthy, apart from Draco. I can get heal off on him in a minute. Here it is. So it's quite long, five minute fight, but I tell you what, getting another stage on Dragon is always good, especially when you get past that hump. The hump where you're against your negative affinity, which you cannot deal with. Um, just in a bit of trouble here. Heal back up from lifesteal, trying to get poisons for the A1s. Not getting many, actually. When I go poison here, it should kill him. Yeah, nice. So stage 18 done. We're going to go on to stage 19. Uh, I'm going to skip through to the boss part and see if we can do it again. So we've got into Dragon and um, in pretty good time as well. Three minutes odd. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. I didn't need that that early. That was dumb. But yeah, we've got decreased defense down. The accuracy requirements are higher. So we are missing a few bits on accuracy. Certainly with my Kale, his accuracy is not high enough. But you can see here, we are again in good shape. I can't see... That we don't do this with the team that I've got here. Speed, decrease defense, poison, uh, decrease attack if I land it like that, and then sort of raw damage. So this is a, t a team which, on positive affinity here, should always win. Keep going A one to try and get poison off. It's going to be resisted more often than not because I just don't have enough accuracy on that kale build. The Kale build is mainly built for the arena right now. Don't even need to heal. Get the poisons off if I can. I've got one. And it's going to be another five minute or so run. But level 19 done. Uh, let's get decreased defense and weaken back on. Just got one of them. Take a hit. That's fine. More poisons on, please. Yes, thank you. Keep Draco alive. Draco's like my win condition on this. Don't want to talk in chat. Thanks. And then this is just going to be auto from here. So, yeah, two stages done. Um, we'll have a go. What I'm going to do, actually, is throw this team onto auto on 20 and just see if it works. Um, if it works as an auto team on 20, then that'd be brilliant. I know that if I put more accuracy on Kale, it'll be tons easier as well. So I can change Kale's build up to make auto 20 dragon totally possible. Question I've got in my head is, have we got enough control for the waves for 20? And, and I also know that my accuracy is a bit low for 20. But you can see here, six minutes, doesn't even matter. Six minutes, 10 minutes, I don't care. As long as I'm getting it done, job done. So stage 19 done. 20, I'm going to throw it on auto and see if we get to the other end. Okay, so we get to the dragon pretty comfortably here. I actually lost Draco in the, the phase, uh, in the second wave. So losing Draco means I lose a ton of the poison, uh, which probably means I just need to pick up his defense a bit more. Uh, things like the amulets and the banners are going to help massively with that. But for stage 20, first run... Um, we're not in a bad shape. We're probably not going to quite do it, I think. So I don't think I've got enough accuracy to make Kale make this happen. Um, 
but I'm pretty comfortable, pretty happy with five minutes coming through this far, knowing that there's just some sort of small tweaks that I need to do to make it work. We're actually going to get really close as well here. We might even do it. Might even do it. Come on. I could do it getting round to the unkillable from Maneater. There it is. That gives me a good chance now. Now it's just whether I can get enough poison from, from Kale in his kind of bad accuracy build to make this happen. Come on, boys. Let's go. There's one. We've run through our unkillables. This is the turn. This is the turn where we've actually got to make it happen. We didn't get a decreased attack on, which is massive. I think he's going to one-shot us all. Oh, he's not one-shot us. It's close, though. Oh, lordy. Where's the damage? Oh, so close. So close. So we're really close to it. I just need to pick up Draco um, and get him going. But for a Dragon 20 auto run, pretty happy with that. So that's nice. Um, what I can also do is I can just sub in Draco into any of these teams now. So I'm, I'm sure of... Uh, I'm not going to waste gems on this. I'm sure of energy uh but i can just definitely push some more dungeons so i'm going to do that over the next couple of days so let's just throw him into the arena as well um i'm i mean i'm guessing just because i'm already doing pretty well in the arena i'm gold too i'm guessing that just bringing him in instead of war maiden in that same slot all it's going to do is improve my chance of winning the fights because instead of just doing decreased defense i'm now doing decreased defense and weaken in places he's not fully booked so it's not going to land every time but decrease defense and weaken across the board just gives us much better chance of getting the one-off nukes. Uh, in fact, we can do this. Bam. Job done. Yeah, good luck. And that is the way these fights are going to go a lot more often now. I've even got a level 60 apothecary. If, um, if I had a different speed option, then I would throw apothecary in here. But I need the speed lead from the uh, high cartoon. He's dead. And that's the way these fights are going to go down. Probably not when I've got a big boy um, big boy to kill there. But teams like this, gold two. Uh, I'm getting my medals up pretty damn fast now. Probably won't be long before I'm competing sort of gold three, I think. Don't want to do the single target nuke here because of Rotus. So we're just going to put some initial damage in. Now we do the double nuke. See you later. Job done. Uh, the other cool thing, because I'm bringing Draco into my clan boss team as well, I'm able to re-gear my Elhane to be just a nuker. So I'm going to redo my masteries on El Elhane before too long, um, which means I can put her in something like Helm Smasher and just kick out more damage. So there's a lot of benefits from getting a pool that's going to come in and replace my... Um, some of my clan boss members. But you see here, we're absolutely firing on all cylinders. So awesome for the arena as well. And once he's got his full masteries, he's going to be going into my clan boss team. I'll show you that as well. So lots of cool stuff coming from this pool. I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you later.